Hi everybody, it's Mike from Here the Watchman, and we're back. You know, we're just having an incredible time here, an incredible conference. The Holy Spirit is in the room, folks. I can tell the feeling is there. It's not too late for you to enjoy this conference. Go to our website, herethewatchmanmen.com. Click the live stream ticket or the streaming ticket. Not only do you get to watch the conference as it unfolds, but you get to watch it for six months afterwards. Use the promotional code DALLAS20. Receive 20% off your purchase price. So get on there, be a part of it, get engaged, and activate your faith. Today, I am honored to have two of my very dearest friends and brothers in Christ, not only one Gallops, but two Gallops, Mr. Carl, Pastor Carl Gallops and his son Brandon Gallops. Guys, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you, Mike. It's, it's my are you, what, what, what do you guys think? About what? This conference? Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Your first speaker was particularly amazing. Yeah, was awesome. that yes. Yes. Can we just talk about him for a moment? I mean, yeah. uh, do you Gallows. know him? Gallows. 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 That guy right. yeah. particularly yeah. amazing. Yeah. He's, and he's up on that live stream right now. So he's going to that button and get that ticket. You can hear a car. Yeah. For people that don't know us that well, I, yeah. we do have a good sense of humor. <laughs> yes. And we do speak with a lot of sarcasm. And I did not mean that literally. I just, I'm blown away that I, I did say to the congregation this morning that to be asked to the first conference was a great honor. And that was in Dallas a year yeah. ago. And since then, you asked me to the Boise conference, and we did that in August, wasn't it, of last yeah. year? Yeah. And then you've asked me back to this year's Dallas conference. So I told the congregation to be asked the first time was a great honor. To be asked the back, to be asked back is a shock. It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great treat for me. So, so anyway, thank you for the great honor. And I was the leadoff kickoff uh, preacher speaker this morning. Thoroughly enjoyed worshiping with the folks, presenting the word. And your graciousness to allow me to do that was amazing, and thank you. And, oh. and yeah, yeah. And you. We're honored. I mean, we yeah. are honored to have you. And, folks, you know, it's, I've told this before. It's a funny story. I was scared to death to call Carl Gallops when, when I first reached out to him because I looked at his website. People have been talking about him and talking about his radio show, and I read his bio, and he used to be a sheriff, and a lot of you know my story. Like I used to be homeless. So <laughs> wasn't real fond of the police for a long time <laughs> in my life. And but I just you know I called him up, and he was instant. We hit it off right away, and it was just a warm feeling. And then a bonus to all of that was he brought this guy with him, <laughs> who Brandon when he first was here last year had hair, and this is what's happened to him over the course of the last year in being involved with us is he's lost his hair. But I pulled it all out. You pulled it all yes, out. Yes, yes. But you know I wanted to introduce you to Brandon. Especially not to take any no, no, no. light away from Mr. Carl Gallagher. Brandon has an amazing ministry. Brandon does. Yes. He has an amazing ministry. Brandon, tell us a little bit about it and, and what you're doing and what we're doing here. Man, well, first of all, you know, uh, uh, big kudos to you and Jeannie, man, for all the hard work and effort that goes into this. I know you guys work tirelessly, and uh, we were just talking about how you don't, you know, probably won't sleep until sometime Monday. And <laughs> bless you for that, brother. But no, seriously, thank y'all for what you do. And, the amazing speakers, man. I, I just, it's like a big family. You know, we were talking about that last night. Yeah. A, you know, it's like a family reunion. Coming yeah, L.A. To LA Marzulli said it was like going to a high school reunion. Yes. And seeing people yeah. and reconnecting with them. It's a family. It is. It really is. And so it's really great what you guys are doing and, and you. bringing the body together like that. Lord knows we got enough division out there, right? So, yeah. yeah. But, man, I personally am very, very blessed to uh, be associate pastor and director of our uh, what we call our Healing and Recovery Center for Redeemed Ministries. Uh, we're located in North Alabama, and uh, we specifically minister to people uh, either stuck in, on the way out of, or trying to get out of uh, addiction. And um, they minister to their families as well. Absolutely. absolutely. We have ministries set up to reach out to spouses and you know loved ones. And, and so we don't, that's not all that we do. We have a church that's open to the community that that yes, when it started, was basically 100% people either in addiction or on the way out. Now, I mean, it's just amazing. God has brought Community. families yeah. there that that's never been their struggle, you know, but they have found something in our particular church. God has drawn them there, and, and they've become mm -hmm. integral parts of the church. They're mentoring, you know, ladies that uh, uh, have, have had a solid marriage for, you know, 20, 30 years and, and have served the Lord for most of their life are now mentoring ladies that spent most of their life in the throes of addiction, you know. So wow. God's putting together some amazing pieces. 
And uh, you know, I'm gonna tell you, Mike, there is power when a when a grown person just comes to the realization there is a God. He's bigger than me, and He created me, and He actually is communicating with me. When you keep it, when, when you just take the gospel and break it down to that level of simplicity, without all the this and that, and that brother, there's power in that, man. and there's something yeah. very attractive about that. Yeah. So we're blessed to be a part of it. Man. Well, we're we're excited, you know, and folks, what we're doing, and I, I want to get this out to all you live streamers. If you want to talk to Brandon or myself, go to the website, click the contact button. Let us know what troubles you. Let us know if you're fighting something, and we'll we'll get to you. We, Absolutely, we will answer Absolutely. you and, and get in communication with you and try and trying to provide you the steps. Now, you guys have a radio show that you do every week. For 16, you, 17 years. Yeah, and you actually have a professional guy by the name of Mike Cheesman that he's behind the scenes. He actually really puts it together and does a great he job. He is the executive editor of the PNN News and Ministry Network. Wow. He's also is the co-host of the show called Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops. And that show, um, not to take away from internet shows and podcasts and all that, because those are all powerful, and blog talk radio, and I'm on a lot of that. There's some amazing, but but this is on a, a over-the-air radio station on the Gulf Coast. It's the most powerful AM station on the Gulf Coast from Tampa to New Orleans. It reaches portions of four states on the Gulf Coast. Plus, we've been streaming over the internet ever since that technology was available. We stream over smartphones. We do podcast it then so that people can download it, put it uh, in their uh, uh, digital devices. Um, they can embed it. They can share it. And, and we've got it on its own website, which has gone virally international. It's amazing. And so we've been doing this 16, 17 years, and Mike Shoesmith was the original, one of my original correspondents to the show, and now co-host, and from Canada. Mike hails out of Canada. Wow. He's all over the United States and, uh, and, 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 and all over Canada. But he is the editor of the PNN News Ministry Network. He's a co-host on Freedom Friday. Brandon McBee came on some years later. He's now a co-host with us. Zeph Parat out of Tel Aviv, right. Israel. And so all of us work together, and we literally now have headquarters Two in the Gulf Coast, one in Toronto, Canada, and one in Tel Aviv, Israel, where we produce videos, where we do interviews, uh, where we provide commentary for this radio show, which has gone all over the world with an international audience. And what's amazing about it, Mike, that radio station is a secular news talk station. It's no. not, yeah, it's yeah, not sure a Christian is. station, yeah. wow. uh, per se. Yeah. But the owner is a believer, and he heard me preach 16, 17 years ago, somewhere he didn't know me from anybody. And I'll spare you all the boring details, but and he said some nice things about what he heard, and, and I'll spare you that. But the bottom line is, is he heard me, and he made contact with me sometime later. I didn't know this. I didn't know the guy was there, didn't know who he was. But he said, man, you need you need to be on the radio. And I was thinking he meant like a Christian station preaching to Christians. Now listen, I love Christian stations. I love Christian music. Uh, I am a pastor, I preach to Christians all the time, but I had this great desire to be on a secular station. My prayer, my desire was a worldly impossibility. Listen, I'm a Christian pastor, preacher, author. I want to be on a secular news talk station with my own live show wherein people can call in live and or we can talk about things that are in the news and make biblical or prophetic uh, connections without being preachy. Just kind of say, and you know what, guys, after we've discussed this, here's what, you know, the Bible has some things to say about this. And, and so that's what I wanted. Well, you know, nobody's going to do that. No secular radio station is going to do that. Yeah. So in the meantime, that just became my prayer. So I'm off. I was preaching at a secular event. It was right after 9-11 and the county commission that asked me to come do this big community event, and he, the radio station guy happened to be there. I didn't know. A few weeks later, he calls me up and says, you need to be on the radio. I said, who are you? And he told me. And I'm thinking, you're a secular state. You're, you guys aren't going to allow me to do what I want. <laughs> but he did. Wow. And now I have not only that two-hour live show, but I also have a pre-recorded show. It's called Ask the Preacher that airs every Saturday and every Sunday. People from all over our region listen to it. But this Freedom Friday is a two-hour call-in live talk show that's uh, on the lines of a conservative radio talk show, but but with a with a distinctly 
biblical twist, prophetic twist, without being preachy. You know, we're not taking up collections and beating people over the head. We're just saying, look, here's a biblical connection. Uh, if you disagree, give us a call. We'll talk about it. You know, things right. like that. Right. We've been doing this now 16, 17 years. We've built this huge international audience. Zeph Parat calls in from Israel eight time zones away. He's a part of the show often. Mike Shoe Smith calls in almost every Friday from wherever he is, all over the United States and Canada. He's also a licensed uh, 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 private investigator in uh -oh. the nation of Canada. Uh -oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I come out of a law enforcement background. Uh -oh. But um, I'm Brandon, a problem. Brandon calls in. He's a part of the show every Friday, and he's usually all over the southeast in the United States and stationed out of North Alabama. So it's quite an amazing show, and I'm not bragging on me. or the, I'm just saying the show, the concept yeah, is, is very amazing. Yeah. And, and we have attracted... Uh, national and international personalities. I mean, some big personalities. Yeah, no, I've seen on your, yeah. your list of guests. You've got yeah. some big hitters on. We really do. I mean, yeah. people that know that we're reaching the world. They yeah. know that it's a for real show. Um, we're conservative, but we're polite, even to our liberal guests. I mean, we don't get on there and bash people, you know, and things. We just we just do a good quality, classy radio show with a biblical twist and a biblical edge. And I think people are attracted to it because they're always interested in what that crazy preacher's going to say about yeah, exactly. this. You know, there's some, right. yeah, there's some headline thing, you know, about something. All right, like moving the embassy, yeah. you know, to Jerusalem. Wonder what that crazy preacher thinks yeah. about it. Well, you know, I'm going to talk about that. Yeah, right. And that, I, and that, by the way, has biblical and prophetic connections. Right. So we get into that as well. So anyway, that's the allure of the show. God has blessed it. And get this. Um, the station doesn't charge me anything. I mean, they just gave this to wow. me. That's 16, God 17 right years. There. I don't know how much longer it's going to last, but I'm riding the wave while I can. Oh, yeah. and, and the Lord is blessed. Yeah. Oh, so thank is, you thank you for asking me about it. Sure. It's that a God is, thing. It's, it I didn't is, ask it for it. It is a total God thing. Just, yeah. And that's the, folks, that's what's happening here. That's what's going on at this conference. I mean, you spoke this morning, and you guys have been back over at your table meeting the people that yes. are here. That's my favorite part. What are you finding in the people? Are they hungry? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. They're hungry. They're humbled. They, they sense and see the prophetic nature of the times in which we're living. You know my message. I think it's very balanced. I don't set dates, and I don't over-sensationalize things. As I said this morning, a lot of what I say is sensational because the Word of God is sensational, and we're living in very sensational times. But I, I don't over-sensationalize it. I just say, here's what the Bible says. Here's what the headline news say. They match up perfectly. Now let's examine. Could this be that? Could it be the beginning of that? Let's look. And, and we just deal with it at a common sense, logical, contextual, theological level. And people, people appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I think they, they respect that. That we're we're not hawking for money. We're not trying to sell something. We just we're just examining the world that we're living in. We're examining what the scriptures say about it, and we're examining our own lives and, and reflection of it. You know, and so I, the Lord seems to be honoring it, and people here um, are reflecting that same thing. They they appreciate what you're doing and hear the watchman. The, 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 the conference theme this year is Iron Sharpens Iron. Iron. Which was from you, brother. Well, well, let's don't say me, but let's say this. The mirror of what we're doing now last year. Yeah. Well, it was in, was it we in? We had Zev with us. Boise. It was in yeah. Boise. Yeah. And Zev was sitting with yeah. us. And we were sitting around chatting like we're doing now. And yeah. I just mentioned in context something yeah. about, well, you know, the Bible says Iron Sharpens yeah. Iron. And then you said, "That's it. That's it. That's, <laughs> it. that's next year. That's the conference next year." And so here we are. Iron sharpens iron. And the concept you've put together, I think, is is um, genius and and from the Lord, in that you bring in a bevy of speakers, preachers, teachers, conference leaders. That I mean, they're all Jesus loving, Bible believing yeah. Christians. But everybody has a, a message and, and a little unique edge to it and a, and a, and a vision, a, an insight. Um, and, and so people, you know, they can come, they can listen to all of this, take it in. They can filter it through their brain and through the scriptures and what the Holy Spirit is speaking to them. And just walk away iron sharpening iron. And, and, and um, I was talking to one of the conference leaders this morning. We were talking about that. I said, you know, sometimes when iron strikes, iron sparks. Yeah, you know, I mean, smart it's, fly. It's smart yeah, fly. Right. but but the point is, there's no fighting or anything. No. It's just that people we we have these friendly debates and discussions yeah. off to the side. Which and, was the leader? I mean, it was and folks, it, it, Jeannie and I really we, we God does it all. We don't yeah. we just show up and, and <laughs> run around like chickens with our heads cut off. 
They um, really do. I've seen these. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Make, making sure everything's where it's supposed to be and everybody's where they're supposed to be. Uh, but we tried originally, Carl, when we set this up. Yes. I wanted different perspectives presented. Everybody's got to be, everybody's got to love Jesus. Yes, Nobody, Jesus is the only way. The Bible's the right. only word of God. Yeah. Nobody yeah. at Hear the Watchman, folks, nobody at Hear the Watchman sets dates. We are not date setters. Right. None of our speakers right. are. Yes. If we do, it just happens once. Once. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's exactly. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Once. Just happens once. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. And then, then, then that's it. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So just like people ask me, has anybody ever cussed you out? Yes, once. Yes, once. Yes. <laughs> so that's, you know, we, but we wanted to provide people with all these different views because we want people to think. Yes. And we want yes. to activate yeah. your faith. That's, that's the bottom line. We want you to get out there, get active, and be a part of it. Well, yes. guys. We're going to have to wrap this up, but before we go, how do they find you in the radio show? It's very easy. I've set it up with my name so that there's it's like a one-page index, carlgallops.com. And then from there, they can find the radio show. On, on that page, as soon as you get there, you'll see my picture. It looks kind of like this. And right right there on, on my chest is a, is, a, is a link that says Freedom Friday Radio. Click on that. It'll take you to the big Freedom Friday International site. You can see all the shows, the archive shows. You can listen to them in any digital device. Plus, at the carlgallops.com, you can see the link to all the books that I've written. Mm -hmm. um, God has blessed me to be a top 60 Amazon best-selling author, so I've got a lot of books that have gone all over the world. You can click on other links to go to thousands of biblical videos we've done to the PNN News and Ministry. I'm pointing because Mike, Mike's off camera. Mike's yeah, he's over there. Yeah, he, yeah. he won't come on camera. No, right? we tried to put him he's on He's undercover. Here. Yeah, but, but uh, when he can't let his face be seen, That's right. Right. he doesn't That's have a job right. anymore. I know. Right. How can you be a private he's investigator? Done. Yeah, right. yeah. But uh, but at carlgallops.com, you can click on the PNN News Ministry. You can click on the link that goes to the church I pastor, and it's got its own website. So carlgallops.com is where they can find everything, including the radio program and everything else. Yeah. And you? Redeemed Ministries Church on Facebook. It's the easiest way to find us. People can direct message us there, private message us. Uh, you know, we have uh, testimonies on there from guys in our program. Uh, all kind of different stuff, but that's the easiest way to get in touch with me, and uh, we'll we'll get back to you, respond to you. Actually, in our program right now, Mike, we have a guy from uh, Oregon, uh, one, two, three men from Florida, uh, one from uh, there's somebody else from out of state, Louisiana, and then several guys local from the state of Alabama. Wow! So, so they can come from anywhere, yeah, they really anywhere, anywhere in the world. Yeah, if they can get if there. They can get there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so and, and, yeah, and some places, I mean, if, if, if a person, if a guy is really, really, really serious and really needs help and is really willing to make the sacrifice, I mean, they've even got benefactors, including the church that I pastor, we kind of covenant with them. We can even get people there that don't have the money. I mean, oh, if they're good. in Oregon mm -hmm. and they yeah, need to get to, need to get Alabama, there, they, if they're serious, they're serious we can yeah. get them there. Right. Yeah. And we work with other facilities, too. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. We, we pretty much always have the ability to find somebody some help that really wants help. Right. right. You know, yeah, you got to want the help. Yeah, we have to use discernment, obviously. Yeah. They're game yeah. players. I mean, there's, there's people well, out there. Well, I, mean, look, I mean, honestly, I couldn't get myself off the streets until I made the decision. That's right. That's exactly right. Turn, and, and for me, it was a God thing. Yeah, you know, I made my decision. And I talked to God, and the next thing you know, two angels showed up, and the rest is history. But uh, I, I really appreciate you guys being here, uh, folks. Get on board. Click that live stream ticket or the streaming ticket ticket option. There's a video tutorial on our website. Uh, you know, and you find it in your heart. There's a donate button on our website. Our ministry needs your help to continue. The next stop for Hear the Watchman is Long Island, New York, August 9th through the 11th. So uh, if we didn't see you here, we hope to see you there. We enjoy seeing all of you on the live stream. And like I always say, remember, there's nothing that you can't do with Jesus in your heart, except nothing at all. That's right. That's good. Get out there and get busy. Make it happen. We're all on our way to heaven. We want you to join us. So God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for spending time with Carl, myself, and Brandon. Thanks. Thank Have a you. wonderful, blessed day. Thank you so much. American Survival Wholesale is proud to sponsor this ministry and their efforts to shed light on the issues that face our nation. As a veteran and Christian-known and operated company, we support the freedom to express these Christian principles. We all understand the importance of being prepared, 
After witnessing the devastation of Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and the wildfires that affected so many, please support this ministry by clicking on the link below and check out the amazing Alt Media Package for our listeners. Plus, if you use the promo code PNN Radio, that's PNN Radio, you will receive free shipping, a savings of up to $200. Just click on the link below, but please do it today. Your support means so much to this channel. The Satanists wanted to install their own tribute, a pagan idol, on the Capitol grounds right next to the Ten Commandments. Billions around the planet are witnessing a world in the grasp of sadistic spiritual darkness. This unholy alliance has infected our governments, our religious institutions, and our societies. The world appears to be unraveling. But can the evil behind these dark supernatural forces be defeated? Is everything playing out just as the Bible predicted it will in the final days? At last, you can know the answers to mankind's most urgent questions and learn your destiny among today's events in the new unprecedented work taking the prophecy world by storm. Gods and Thrones, Nakash, Forgotten Prophecy and the Return of the Elohim by best-selling author, former decorated law enforcement officer and senior pastor Carl Gallops. This changes everything. Available now wherever fine books are sold.